Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. <laughs> Hello, everybody. And she's our color analyst for the day, <laughs> and every weekend almost, yeah, by, unless I happen to come in by myself. But we're glad to be with you this Saturday. And I like talking about this subject. It's, it's one of the fastest growing segments in the remodeling industry. And you may be wondering, what is that fastest growing segment in the remodeling industry? Well, it's dual master suites. Mm -hmm. We still use the, the term master suites because we don't know a better term for it yet. So until then, we're going to have to just call it what you probably recognize. And, uh, and so, yeah, we're talking about the bedroom areas that, that you sleep in. And usually it's the the, uh, the adults in the room that are the older adults that purchased the home and yeah. they want to control the largest portion of the home that's occupied the most and wouldn't a dual master suite i mean a master suite be more defined as like a bedroom that has an attached bathroom yes and i was going to get to oh that. sorry <laughs> no no that's good it's because yeah you know it's a suite it has more than just a bedroom mm -hmm. <clears throat> although there are some alternates which we'll talk about um, different types of dual master suites and and so yeah this is just I mean I mean just in one day I had two requests to, uh, already scheduled for me to go out and look at and both of them are very serious about doing them hopefully by the you know by the next couple of weeks we'll have them on our queue and we'll be starting to build and design those uh, those wonderful master suites mm -hmm. now some of them are additions but not all of them are additions uh, and some of them are additions where you just add onto the house on the outside. Mm -hmm. Some of them are where you go into a garage. Some of them are where you go into areas that are, you just change areas in the home. But it's still, either one is going to be an extremely beneficial remodeling project for you if that's what you need. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we want to start off with what, a remodeling safe tip of the week? Yes. So this is something that KM Builders does really well. <coughs> and we make sure to seal up any walls and roofs while the construction is going on because um, you can protect, you need to protect it from weather and from critters and things like that. So this is something that only an experienced remodeler knows how to do to seal things up and make sure things are weatherproof. So that way your inside is safe and also critter proof. <laughs> yeah, and even from break-ins. But the mm -hmm. biggest vulnerability we have is, like you said, Morgan, and that is weather. Yeah. You would be, you know, folks out there might think, well, you just cover it up, right? It doesn't mm -hmm. work that way. <laughs> um, the water gets in so easily. And then, of course, what usually happens with water and rain is wind. So it wants to pick up everything that you want to lay down to keep the water out. So that's our biggest risk. But it is a definitely a safe tip because mold can occur. Um, you know, if you don't know that it's in there and you don't dry it out or, or worse, you know, ceilings can fall down on people if they get wet, mm -hmm. uh, insulation, ceilings, uh, even further damage can occur when water is in the house. Yeah. And so that is a huge safety tip. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So dual master suites, I think I just wanted to make a little mention that I think these are very popular because nobody or most people aren't wanting to put their elderly family into a nursing home right now. That's just, they saw the dangers of it and in COVID and they don't want to do it. So this is becoming a better option for them to move them in, but they need their own space. And so this is such good, timely information. It really is. And that's probably, you know, when you look at the cost, it's a very you can throw all that money and and literally it could be much more than the cost of a master suite into, into a nursing home into a nursing home mm -hmm. that you may not really be happy with the results and a lot of people don't realize that you know whenever you're you can throw all that money away or you can invest it in your home and the money is in the bank basically yep. so yeah there are a lot of good reasons for doing dual master suites if you haven't thought about it and you have a situation changing in your life where Perhaps someone needs needs to be taken care of more carefully. 
It can be very easy to take care of someone if the suite is designed for their safety and for their privacy. Okay. And a lot of a lot of parents are resistant to moving in with their children because they've been independent, you know, all their lives and losing that independence is tough. Okay. But if you can design a master suite where they can maintain some of that independence, even some of that separation, but where they're close enough for you to help out in need, um, you know, it really starts with what most of our clients want to see is a really good design. Mm -hmm. Something that thrills them is, is uh, oftentimes what puts it over the, the decision making in the favor of doing the project. Because you may have a big cell on your hand and you're going to need a professional to show you the ideas that can be incorporated into your new dual master, in your second master suite. Now, some of these are casitas and that works too. So that's a separate house. Separate independent building, right? Mm -hmm. But, and those are great if, you know, and it does create even more separation, but sometimes that much separation is not even desired mm -hmm. for several reasons. One is, is you want to hear what's going on quickly and, or be, be right there. Mm -hmm. um, and the second reason is, is because the cost increases. And then the third reason is the property just doesn't allow for it in some cases. Yeah. So, so uh, uh, for that reason, dual master suites in the same home are more, much, much more often requested. Uh, requested. Yeah, casitas prices are higher, and I mean you're going to add twenty thousand to thirty thousand to separate a building. It's just it's just usually a lot more to do that. Um, you can't connect to things as easily. But it's not uncommon to see 20,000 more just to, to get that separation. And I mean, even just a few feet changes the cost. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got more walls to build, more foundation to build. Um, tying on always helps with some of those costs in almost every case. But so one of the, some of the reasons, like you said, it's really popular is um, people are moving in gonna, or need to, need to be cared for that have different needs uh, than say just a teenager living there growing up in the house. Mm -hmm. And some of those needs are safety requirements as well. Um, you know, and maybe you do have a, an area that would work upstairs, but it's just not gonna fit for the people coming in that have different needs. Oh yes, maybe they can't get up the stairs. Right, and sometimes that's the reason you build a, a separate suite anyway, is because the owners of the, of the home don't wanna move, but they don't want to be down they don't want to be upstairs anymore climbing the stairs to their to their master suite so they build a second one and that works out great for guests or mm -hmm. for you know a lot of families have had covid children coming back mm -hmm. um i say children covid children i mean COVID children coming back even married couples coming in because of yes. losing jobs um one of the things that is encouraged it a lot is they don't want to have to worry about about quarantining before they visit each other mm -hmm. or not visiting each other at all. So they just move in, sell the other home. It's a great time, you know, for them to do that. And they just build a master suite that accommodates both family members and, it, and everybody's saving money and they're, they're in the same household so they can have association with each other, companionship regularly. Mm -hmm. so a lot of people are moving in just because of uh, COVID. Yeah. And so these have changed the needs of folks. Now, another reason that they build these has to do with work schedules and so forth. And, and people are wanting a bigger suite so they can do more things, multifunctional, <laughs> mm -hmm. if you will. Uh, one of the things we don't ever want to forget is that, is that people are moving in because of multi-generational purchases. That's increasing in the U.S. Mm -hmm. And um, so another one is different schedules. People have different schedules now. Or, or they did already. And the, finally, another real popular reason for separate master suites is someone starts snoring in the home and someone doesn't like it. <laughs> so they want, they want to have another, another separate area, but they still want to have the amenities of a master suite. And so no matter what we're doing, you know, we, we know how to accommodate your needs. We know how to take care of you. One of the ways we take care of you is with cleaning. Oh yes, so we use the maids on every single project and you can use code KM Builders for $25 off your first clean. So you can give them a call at 210-822-2526 or look them up at maids.com slash 211 and they'll give you $25 off your first clean if you mention that KM Builders sent you. Yeah, the maids.com slash 211. 
We'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we are talking about dual master suites. And before I get into that, I want to mention our friends at Elite Lighting Designs. Sean, the owner of that, is very attention to detail. And I saw it in the way that even the way they cut the grass to put the lighting wiring into my yard. It was incredible because it just they just they just uh, sliced insert it and laid the slice back down and my grass never died because of it. It just looked like it had not been touched. So that was a unique thing. It was like surgical <clears throat> precision. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it really was. And I got to talk to them because they were on my house and I just said, you know what, we got to we got to do some some uh, advertising for this company because they are our kind of company. Mm -hmm. So call them at 5730594. Of course, it's 2105730594 or elitelightingdesigns.com. Let's let's get into our client testimonial. Morgan, did you have one this week? Yes. Every week we do, right? Mhm. Mm um, I stopped by our clients the Jones and they were just so happy with everything. Um, we are doing a really beautiful kitchen remodel for them. And they said that everyone that has come into their house was so respectful. And, but the main thing that we were kind of all impressed with, besides the normal, you know, our guys are so nice and David, the project manager, so great, is they have a um, interesting situation that required very- um, Extensive. Yes, extensive dust protection. And so they had, you had to do two stories of dust protection because they had like a loft. And I mean, you could see the foam strips that were placed and just, she said, there's no dust in here. <laughs> Isn't that great? Tenure? And they were just so happy and all the demos been done, but it's still up and, you know, and they, they don't mind it at all. It's like they have a completely separate entrance into their home from they go to the front door, take a couple steps, and then enter into the non-dust zone. <laughs> right, right. I mean, that is just more than people uh, expect, and and uh, it's what they deserve, you know? Oh, yes. Yeah, it's so good to hear those compliments. And by the way, we've got another client that's just watching to see how that project goes, I found out from your mom. Oh, wow, that's cool. Uh, someone she worked with said, yep. oh, if you do that project, uh, everything's great on it, you know? there's another project they are definitely going to call you and i'm like oh that's awesome well, of course we're going to get it then <laughs> yeah they're yeah. so happy yeah so we're talking about dual master suites today and we hope you're joining us we thank you for listening or watching on what what program it'll be posted on <clears throat> facebook and youtube yeah so you can follow us there and we thank you all of those who follow us there regularly and we hope you enjoy our show and so we were talking about the reasons for dual master suites is um People do not want to put family in nursing homes whenever there's needs and they can have in-house hired help with a, with a completely designed suite that really serves the need well. So people are moving in that have different needs and they need, they need accommodations. Some people have different schedules. Some people don't like the snoring. They want to stay married, <laughs> but they don't want to sleep together. Uh, of course, different sleep schedules makes a difference. Uh, people don't want to go upstairs for master suites. They want their own downstairs and they'll keep that for guests or for folks moving in. There's also, you know, multiple generations buying homes now because together to buy a bigger home. Yeah. And a lot of it is cultural. Oh yeah. Some cultures, they do two families that, 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 uh, buy a home. And that's just the norm. <laughs> and so rather than having to buy a really huge home, which the only homes that you find with dual master suites are very, very large. Mm -hmm. You can do it on just about any home and, and you can buy a home, have that added on to it and it's got what you need. <clears throat> so they're very popular because they're larger, they're safer when you add the new one. You can mm -hmm. put all the safety features you need for universal design, any uh, disability that might need to be accommodated is all put into that. And of course, a lot of the owners of the home want to do this because they want their more luxurious master suite. Oh yeah. So you can get those cool things that you want. I bet you can think of a few you'd like oh, if you were okay. adding on a master suite, which a you're kind of, you're kind of doing that pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not adding on, but 
you know, there's things that just don't come standard with a home, like a steam shower. I like heated floors. Mm. What else? Um, what about those when they put the warming towel bars? Oh, yeah. oh that's yeah. luxury. Towel warming racks. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, you know, also soaker tubs, shower uh, massage, massaging shower heads. Dual shower heads. Yeah, dual shower heads, larger showers, mm -hmm. roll in showers, uh, very good wide access. Luxury cabinetry, fixtures, lighted mirrors, lighted mirrors. There you go. Yeah, I, I love, like I said, I gotta say it again the heated floors. They're not mm -hmm. really heated, they just keep them from being cold. Yeah, if you don't want them heated. No, they're really. I stepped in them with my bare feet, and I'm like, okay, I understand. It's not a warm because that's kind of weird, mm -hmm. it just isn't the cold. chill just that cold. the tile typically has. That's right. nice. <clears throat> yeah, it just, it just makes a big difference in the temperature of the room, too. Mm -hmm. And so you go into a shower in the morning or at night, whatever, or come out of the shower and you just don't have that, I gotta get out of here quick. Yeah, no, tiptoe no. run. No, it's just like you went into a spa and you're just mm -hmm. like enjoying every moment of your moment in the in the uh, the room. Yep. So it can change your comfort, it can change your pleasantries, it can change your mood when you have a beautiful dual master suite. Now, you know, it's one of the areas of the home that we spend a lot of time in, sleeping, showering getting ready getting ready why not have a coffee bar in that master I suite was just thinking that <clears throat> you oh, know man. maybe a place to warm up something uh you know how about a nice view with sunlight coming in to see your backyard and to see where you want to you know what you really want to be seeing in the mornings and some of them even have their own exit and entrance to the backyard that's so right. it's That's just right. a, or to a patio to a hot tub spa outside yeah if you want your own little um Oasis. courtyard <laughs> you can have your own courtyard on the outside of it. i mean the sky's the limit on what you can do mm -hmm. if you have your own your own space so there's there's some of the reasons and the popularity uh of it again i want to mention that this is one of the hottest growing segments of rem of the remodeling industry so if you're even curious about it, give me a call at 680-5626 or look us up at kmbuilders.com and we will talk to you about what your property would accommodate. And you will be amazed at how we can fit one in. It doesn't have to be an addition all the time. It can be done within the home. So whatever you need, give us a call, we can do it. Or if you need some work done on your car, guess what, I've got someone for you now Frank Menchaca at Frank's Paint and Body Shop. He does beautiful work. He's done it on my Lexus and he's doing it on my Hellcat. And he's at 210-927-3410. 210-927-3410, Frank's Paint and Body Shop. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we're talking about dual master suites. But before we do, it's it's always a good time to talk about my friend Joe Caccino at BioGreenSA.com. His company is BioGreen. And so, as the, the name implies, there is <laughs> biologicals involved. And he is really good on, on the ecological ways to add nutrients to your, your lawn that increases the, anti the microbial uh, activity, which is what your lawn needs to stay healthy. You don't wanna kill things off and just add only synthetic fertilizer. A little bit of that is good. It can, it can uh, perk it up. But what we need to do is just like our human bodies, we need to stimulate it to, to make itself and repair itself with all those activities in the lawn. So he'll give you an education on it like he did me. And you can find him at 210-421 nine five two two nine that's four two one nine five two two and go to biogreensa.com to have a gorgeous lawn <laughs> so we're talking about dual master suites mm -hmm. and it's one of my favorite things to do in the remodeling business but it's also getting extremely popular and you can do these in so many ways what's the way that you think of first when you think of a dual master suite what do you have in your mind morgan I think you'd probably add add on to the house. Mm -hmm. Either make it an upstairs master suite or bumping out the house in the back or the side to make that space. 
Right. So you're right. That's probably the most popular. And it's usually downstairs where we do it the most often. Um, but, it, but it can be done upstairs. So let's just touch on the upstairs for a minute. One of those is uh, using attic space. Mm -hmm. And I've been to a lot of homes over the years where the attic is, is has, a, has a great resource to build another suite. And, it's big enough? And yeah, and usually, yeah, oh yeah, I mean, sometimes it's not fully big enough, but you take some other closets and you take some other hallway or you know some other spaces that are up there. Mm -hmm. And of course, a lot of times you're just needing the bathroom portion and maybe a little bigger closet for it to be a really nice suite. You do not need the whole bedroom because the bedroom's already up there. Yeah. So you're adding on a bathroom. Mm -hmm. And and of course, if, if you haven't thought of that, then, then you need to think of that, that you may not need the whole bedroom built, you just might need the restroom, the, the uh, bathroom and a closet maybe expansion. Mm -hmm. so, so that is very uh, doable in an upstairs situation. Now, a lot of people don't realize that if they don't have an attic that's adjacent to another room, that there are still ways to do it. Um, have you ever seen a, a room, well, let's put it this way, that you have a little patio underneath, downstairs, there's a, there's a patio and it's being covered by a room that's actually sticking out. That's your patio cover is the room above. I think so. In the... Sometimes you'll see a house that is built out over a patio with two columns. Yes. Or posts, mm -hmm. you know, and it'll hold it up. Is so, that what, like, the, Dom the Dominguez job had that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And so so you can you can do it that way. No, that one was built... Mm. No, that was, no, that one was not. That was not. That was over. Yeah, I know. That was not it. But, oh, okay. But we have done them where... Mm -hmm. And so, so if you're thinking, well... You know, I don't really, I don't really know where we would fit it. I don't think my house will do it. You're probably wrong. <laughs> so, how about this idea? Add on to the back of a bedroom on the upstairs. Add a bathroom, and maybe a bigger closet. Uh, a nice size suite, big enough to be a patio cover on the first floor. So now you've not only gotten that patio cover that you want, but you've also gotten the master suite extension. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Mm-hmm. So it's and because you get some outdoor living, too. you get some outdoor living. That's exactly right. And so that can be done. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you only need to just pop out five feet yep. because you're going to keep it real simple. Other times you may want to pop out 12 or 14 or even 16 feet out from that house in the backyard and make that a covered area for you to enjoy off your living room. Nobody's going to mind having a room overhead if it's got a beautiful ceiling treatment and ceiling fans and lights mm -hmm. and uh, maybe a stereo system built into it. So if you're thinking, I'd like that, that patio cover, but I also really need to prioritize this master suite addition, why not get both? Yeah. And so, so that is one of the interesting things you can do with a home, you know, that, that a lot of people just wouldn't think about. And so don't think that your home can't do it. Um, I want to talk about some of the simpler ones too. You know, you, you can do a full or a partial bath in, in these suites. You, some, some master suite additions do not need a full bath. They just need a partial bath. And one of the reasons is, is because they may be right next to another bathroom. So let me give you the example of, you've got a master bath on, let's just say the left, You've got, I mean, I'm sorry, a master bedroom on the left and on the right, and maybe it's on the back of the house, you have the master bath. Mm -hmm. Now, if you add it on a bedroom to the back of that house, it can still share that master bath mm -hmm. because it becomes like a Jack and Jill, but that's for people who, who want to sleep separately because of their schedules or because of the snoring. Yeah. And they can both use the same bathroom because there's a door that blocks off the noise and doesn't disturb <laughs> that person. Yes. But that still qualifies as a dual master suite. Mm -hmm. Because you know, each bedroom has access to a bathroom. Right. And so that's a Jack and Jill master suite, which mm -hmm. you don't see usually. But that is a good way if, if that's your need and that's what you're trying to accommodate. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, you can do it where I'm, all I need is just a, is just a place, for a, a toilet and a little sink. I don't need the full shower on my master suite. Mm -hmm. And so then you can just put that there and that can save a little money also. Mm -hmm. 
Um, some master suites, though, do need full baths, full closets, full bedrooms, and even kitchenettes. Yes. And, and those can be incorporated into it as well. And so the, really the sky is the limit on what you need. You can go really small or you can go really large. And it's all depending on, like you said, what you need. That's right. So, you know, have you thought of maybe changing a powder bath in your home? and turning that into a full bath right maybe you just need to add the shower mm. and then now you've got that that real close proximity to a bedroom and maybe maybe we just uh and even sometimes what we'll do is we'll we'll back to back put it on the back side of it so that it can still function as a powder room for one side but on the other side there's a full bathroom mm. do you remember the one that we did where it was close to a pantry we took part of the pantry space out yes and we made it a full bath for a, for a person downstairs that couldn't wasn't going to be able to go upstairs anymore mm -hmm. yep and uh, and that one was because of alzheimer's mm -hmm. and and it worked and they were so thrilled with it yep and you can convert other areas into your pantry storage or you know that hall closet that you use for coats you don't really need that <laughs> yeah you know you can buy a coat rack mm -hmm. for the occasional need well we hope that this is helping you and i want to mention something else that might be of help to you on your home if you would like protective window film there's two types of protection one is for solar heat gain and also uv to prevent fading of your beautiful wood floors or your furniture mm -hmm. and then the other one is break-in protection and at Expel, they have a film that will glue on and put on there and will keep the glass together and it will not fall in. They beat it and it's so well secured to the frame that it will stay in place and people will leave your home rather than trying to break in. That's really good on big sliding glass doors. Yeah. And to have this on there is a tremendous protection. Talk to Eric at Expel and you can look him up at Expel Dot com, but you can also just call them direct here at the San Antonio location at 210-430-7712, 430-7712. We'll be right back to the KM Builder Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we're so glad you joined us this weekend, and we hope that we have been of assistance to you talking about dual master suites. As I said, it's one of my favorite projects. I always love additions anyway, mm -hmm. but these are cool because they have the amenities in them, and people will just really love them. It changes their life. So there's so many reasons why people want them, and part of it has to do with you know folks needing to be taken care of at their homes. Maybe it is a move-in couple that uh, newly married and they're trying to establish and get a home. It might be that, that you're thinking of buying a home with another family, with another portion of your family, and together you both need the suites. Maybe, maybe mom or dad or mom and dad need help because they're getting older. And you can take care of them right there at the house with a, with a second master suite. Uh, some people need partial master suite additions because of different schedules. They want a sleeping quarter, just add a sleeping quarter. Or maybe because they snore and they want to be at peace with one another in the <laughs> daytime and they need their peace. Uh, sometimes we get tired of climbing the stairs, so that's another one. And we've talked about how these are so popular because they're larger, they're safer, they have all these safety features and they're more luxurious. You get the luxury features you want. And certainly there's a good cost versus value on these because this is the fastest growing need in the remodeling industry. Mm -hmm. So more and more people will want it. If you have it and you ever needed to sell it, you're gonna get your money back. That's, that's what that means. Let's talk about a couple of other ones. We've talked about you know converting a powder bath, going into the attic. We've talked about you, know, you can add a room addition on. We talked a little bit about that. That's probably the most common is add a full room addition. But we talked about make bumping a room out upstairs and making it a patio cover below. But a full suite or even a bath only room addition is a good way to go many times. Or sometimes you're just adding that bedroom only and you're, you're uh, jack and jilling that existing mm -hmm. suite. So a, a room addition can look beautiful. You may not 
be able to imagine where it could go, but I can help you with that, even mm -hmm. the upstairs ones. That's what I do. I go visit you and show you what your possibilities are. It doesn't take me long to see what could be done because of our experience. Um, let's see. You can close in a patio. Yes. Um, and a lot of these are now converting into office spaces, but you can make them suites. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes they're right near a restroom. That's right. So that would be perfect. And a lot of them are right off the kitchen, which is a natural place to have a master bedroom suite anyway. Mm -hmm. So you might you might want to consider that. You know, maybe your budget doesn't allow you to to build a full room addition. Well, I'll let you know this: that if if the patio is convertible into a room addition, it's your least expensive room addition you're ever going to have. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's one of the lowest priced room additions, significantly less, in fact. So the, they just have to make sure that the foundation is an actual foundation, right? Correct, correct. And a lot of them are. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of them aren't, but, but that doesn't <laughs> mean you can't change that. Then you can, we'll you, go check. Oh, yeah. We'll build over and, and make sure that you have a brand new foundation that's, that's going to be a good investment for you. Um, but the roof is usually there. There's a lot of pluses of it. It keeps the cost down. Mm -hmm. And the same is true if you have to convert a garage. If you have to convert a garage, you know, that is going to be a, that's probably the least expensive room addition. And garages, typically two car garages, are very nice sizes for master suites. Oh, definitely. You'll need to have sure that you have the exit, the okay. egress, what's called egress per code, which means you can get out in a fire out of either a window or a, um, a door. So a lot of times you'll put like a door to the backyard or the side of the pad right. uh, garage. And you know what makes it nice too is a lot of folks want that side door so they can have a little sidewalk and the and they can easily get a wheelchair or make it easy for people walking into that new master suite. Mm -hmm. So that works really well. And you can even keep the look of a garage in neighborhoods that require that. You would have to do that, of course. And we don't have to take the garage doors out. We've done that many times. Yeah, we pull the tracks off and store them in your attic. But but uh, later on, it can be converted. It's just a much prettier garage if you ever mm -hmm. needed to convert it. So it's not a decrease in the value of home. It's definitely an increase in the value of a home. But that, again, is a very budget-friendly type of master suite. Now, you typically want to place that toilet at a convenient place to where you can tie into the sewer the existing sewer on the homes. And so that's, that is a really, really practical way to build it. And sometimes later on, you know, people will say, well, I'll build a carport later and that'll take care of my, my car, car needs, yeah. And some people have the property to even build another garage later. Mm -hmm. And so you can do this in stages. It doesn't have to be done with the garage. If you can park outside for a little while, get mom and dad or mom or dad in there and get them taken care of, you can always do other things like carports. Mm -hmm. By the way, you know, carports can get a lot closer to the street than the house can. By the codes in the city and in neighborhoods, they allow carports to go closer than the building itself. They can get much closer. That's good to yeah. know. Yeah, so your building is, in many cases, as far close to the street as you can get it. But that's not true of carports, so don't be afraid of that. Um, let's see. One other one we, we didn't mention is a casita. And that is the most expensive, the most beautiful probably in most cases, but it is a separate quarters, which can have anything from a kitchen, you know, to full living rooms and uh, sitting rooms, oh, closets, yeah. even storage areas. And so, laundry room. yeah. And another thing to remember about casitas, if you're building a casita for mom or dad or, you know, your, your children, to have, you can make these multi-purpose rooms, such as on the back side of it, or the flags that you see, is a pool room. Mm -hmm. It's a storage room. It's an office. It's a um, it's a man cave. <laughs> you know, a she shed on one side, and then on the other side is a suite. Yep. So we'll get it can be an office. Out of it. Oh yeah. So you can do anything you want with these casitas, and mm -hmm. and everybody's happy with it then. But whatever you'd like, uh, and then the last but not least I'll mention is you can add an elevator. We can help you do it. Yeah. And maybe you don't have to convert it that sweet at all. <laughs> and so if that's what you'd like to do, call us at KM Builder, 680-5626.
or look us up at kmbuilders.com. And any of our sponsors you want to get in touch with, just look us up. We'll see you next week on the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Have a great weekend, everybody, and we thank you.